What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and it looks like we made it. 2020, we can at least put the number behind. We're still going to be facing a lot of the issues that became apparent within the year. But, as you very well know, as a people, we'll all survive it. We'll all make it through. We will make it through this pandemic. Hopefully there is a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to all of the, you know, debate, when it comes to race and the hatred and everything. You know, it is my prayer that one day we'll all make it past all this. I mean, 2020 was definitely a crazy year. Like, 2020 was the year the world started to burn, literally, because of the riots and the looting and the everything, you know, growing up in this world, a person of color, I've experienced racism before, but I never saw racism of that kind of grand scale since Rodney King. If you don't know who Rodney King is, look it up. Because I think that was the last time police and a person of color and their interaction caused a riot. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad back then. And it was very similar to what happened. You know, officers started to get acquitted for stuff and then everybody just went nuts. But we made it through. You know, this pandemic has been going on this entire year. You know, first we were told, don't worry about wearing masks. Then we were told to wear masks. You know, hundreds of thousands of people have lost their lives. But eventually, we will make it through this too. On a brighter note, in one of my previous reaction videos to a Nerdcore song, I think it was the Far From Over song. I said that I was going to make a list of the things I was wanting to do 2021 and on. And despite it being poorly written and on a whatever this thing is, I actually have one written down. No, I didn't just write it five minutes ago. The lie detector determined that was a lie. But I want to share it with y'all, you know, maybe in the comments. Let me know what your plans are for 2021. Let me know your goals and whatever you're doing in your life. But this is my goals for 2021 and on. First goal is to reach 1K subs. Of course, that's the main goal. Reach 1K subs and then become YouTube partner. That is the end goal. Well, not the end goal. When it comes to my YouTube channel, the end goal of my YouTube channel is to be able to do it for a living, to live a dream that I've had since I was two years old, to be able to play video games and not have to worry about anything, be my own boss. That's what I ultimately want. That's why I step in front of this camera. That's why I put on a brave face and a happy face and bring good old quality mayhem to all of you that take the time out of your day to watch. And for those of you that do, just know that you are greatly loved. You are greatly appreciated and you will be remembered when that day comes. All I ask is that you stick with me because I can't do this without you. It's like I've stated before, the Grizzly Kingdom, my channel, is nothing without the Grizzly King. And the Grizzly King is nothing without my lovely supporters, my Grizzly Knights. So, that is number one. And trust and believe, none of these are in order, but I had to put that one on top because, I mean, it's kind of the, the staple one. Number two. Because I am a lover of Dungeons & Dragons, have been for about 10 years or so, be a guest on an episode of Critical Role. Wouldn't even have to be, like, more than one. I just want to be on one. I want to write up one character and be able to play D&D &D with the best. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want. I want to take 
my D and D game to Matt Mercer level. What can I say? There's nothing more past that. Number three is have a small business. You know, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye have cloak. I want my own thing. I wouldn't say what my own thing is because, you know, people like to take ideas and stuff, but I have already spoken about it in a previous live stream. It's something to say I did that. Say that, hey, I have this. I provide this to you guys or anybody in general. I want to be able to say that I put my time into something, you know, into something. It's kind of like the next one, finish my book. Y'all didn't realize I've been writing a book for a while. I have been. It is a very nerdy book, fantasy book, magic, dragons, stuff like that. I first started writing this book before I left for Missouri, which was back in 2014. And of course, years went by. I was trying to get life together. And then I eventually found the flash drive that had my story on it. And I've technically finished it. It's obviously going to be multiple books, at least two, maybe three, if I can get my head out of my butt and figure it out. And I've technically finished it, but what I need to do is I need to proofread it and I need to go in and change quite a few things. And of course, my hope is to be able to get it published, have it known. What makes me very hesitant for doing that is because I wonder if it's too magic-y. I wonder if it's too anime-like. You know, because that's, that's kind of what it looks like to me, is it's too anime-like, and I don't know if something like that would actually sell. So I've been very hesitant on getting it finished and suffering from a severe case of procrastination, and that's why it hasn't been finished yet. But hopefully I can gather up the courage to get it done. Hopefully I can gather up the willpower to get it done and... I mean, you put your work into something and it works or it doesn't. You can only hope. But that doesn't mean you still shouldn't try. Next one is grow in my music. I do music. I do rap and hip hop music. And I put a slash feature on a nerdcore song. That is actually a rather new goal. Ever since I started getting into reacting to nerdcore artists, Fable, Daddy Fat Snaps, Divide. I've had a want to be with the best, to feature on one of these songs, even if it's just one. The opportunity alone is worth its weight. I want to one day. I want people to know my music one day because it's not like this mumble rapping or, you know, three or four words in a line that everybody seems to be doing. You know, we're not talking about no wops or anything like that. I'm trying to bring real music. I'm a 90s kid. I come from the era of real music. So I am doing my best to bring in real music, to bring in a lyricism that only a few people still have nowadays. That is my goal, is to not only increase myself in gaming and content creation, but also become somebody in music as well. And of course, last but not least, Continue to bring joy and smiles to you guys because that's what this is all about. There are people in this YouTube game that are like, oh, I'm trying to get monetized. Uh, why else would you be doing this if it ain't to make money? Okay, so I'm going to pump the brakes on that. Number one, yes, a lot of people out there want to do this for the sake of money. Me, I would like to do this for the sake of of living a dream to be able to be financed by video games. 
it's a lot different than just turning on the camera and say, all right, let's make some money today. No, I'm 28 years old. For the last 26 years, I've wanted video games to be my passion. So it extends way more than just wanting to do it for the sake of money. Plus, on top of that, I mean, I started on YouTube back in 2017 using just a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 4 camera. I recorded, recorded, technically live streamed to Twitch, took the video off of Twitch, put it in the PlayStation 4 share factory and edited that sucker and then put it on YouTube. That was how I started. The 40 to 50 something minute videos that y'all see, I was doing that from the get go. That was my original channel. And I ended up falling into the sub for sub as well. And I was going nowhere. But I did have a little bit of a foothold on Twitch. And that's when I started on Twitch. And I left YouTube behind. Primarily for the sake of growth. I was a newbie. I saw I wasn't making it here. I saw I was making it here. And so I went to the place that I was making it. I turned my back on my own ideals, my own word, and I went to where the numbers are. And then I eventually came back. At first, I started to do both. But then it like pulled a, pulled a reverse card on me. And all of a sudden, everybody was showing up to everybody else's streams, but nobody was showing up to mine. And I was a part of three communities at the time. I think that was my mistake. <laughs> I was a part of three communities at the time. I was doing a stream. Sorry about that. I was doing a stream celebrating one year in one community and nobody showed up. And I was like, wow, that's, that's a kick in the face. That's a kick in the face. So I told myself, and I think this was at the beginning of 2019, because I took a, good month long break because we almost lost everything at the end of 2018. I said, you know, I started out in content creation doing YouTube and this time I'm not going to betray my own word this time. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to be better over the course of this time. I've learned more. I've learned what to watch out for, what to avoid the kind of people. So now I have more experience going into these YouTube streets. My whole thing is, I wish I got into reaction videos a lot sooner. Because as you can very well see, if you browse my channel, my reaction videos do a lot better than my gaming videos. But that does not mean I'm going to become a reaction-only channel. Because at the end of the day, I started this doing gaming. And I will continue to do gaming. In the end, those of you who watch my stuff are going to watch it, and I appreciate that. Regardless as to how much one thing gets compared to the other, it'll all get watched eventually, and that's the way I look at it. As long as I keep to myself, as long as I'm true to myself, and as long as I'm true to you guys, it'll all work out. I'll see my dream completely fulfilled. But like I said, if you have any goals in content creation and whatnot, or any goals in life in general, let me know down in the comments below. Let's start 2021 off on a positive note, talking about what we want to do. Talk about the good we want to do. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'd like to see what you think. I'd like your opinions. I definitely would, even if it's, you know, criticism. Constructive criticism is healthy. It helps people grow. Some people can't handle that. Some people don't like to be told what to do with their channels. I'm perfectly fine with it. I am. So I definitely recommend it. I'm always going to be here for you guys. Uh, if you don't follow me on any of my social medias, I usually don't plug them, but I figured why the hell not? You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram down in the comments below. My Instagram is primarily used just for random pictures and promoting my music. 
But if you would like to know anything about my music, then right on that little bar right there, you can click that and it should take you to my About Me page. It'll take you to the YouTube channel I have. I have SoundCloud, whatever your preference is to watch. Eventually, the album that I just released will be on Spotify and whatnot as well. So I'm kind of getting out there. I've actually been considering removing that channel completely and just putting all the music on here. I've seriously considered that. I have. I've seriously considered that, but I've just been kind of hesitant about it, you know? I don't want to, like, chase people off with the all-of-a-sudden different content that they see. But... I mean, if you have any opinions on that, definitely let me know. But it's just things that I've been thinking about. At this point, I'm pretty much just rambling for the camera. <laughs> I had no plans coming into this outside of saying, you know, we did it. 2020 is about to be behind us. And I'm proud of you. I don't know who you are, but I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for making it. I'm proud of you for surviving. I'm proud of you for doing your thing. I'm proud of you for being well. Hopefully you are. If you're sick, I hope you get well. If you're having financial troubles, I hope that you find relief soon. If you're having relationship and friend troubles, just know that I'm always here for you. I always will be. If ever anybody wants to contact me, even if it's just to talk, Hit me up on my social medias, or you can email me down at my email at the description below. I'm open for communication, especially if you need an ear. If you need an ear, if you're just down on your luck and you need somebody to talk to or you need somebody to vent to, by all means. Because if you have nobody else, just know you will always have me. And of course, this little sunspot is the misfit bear baby. Mm -hmm. This is my daughter, Daenerys. Yes, yes, for all of you Game of Thrones fans out there, I went there. She's been on my channel since she was about five or so months old. The first few reaction videos I did were me reacting to my older videos because I was surprised to discover that I still had some. You can see just how long they were because they're in my reactions playlist. Now, I don't put all of my reaction videos in there, but the older reaction videos, seeing me getting into reaction videos, are all in that playlist. If you are curious, I definitely recommend go looking. What's that? Go looking? I cannot English today. I know. Exactly. But I just wanted to... Get on this camera, speak a few words, talk about a few goals, and like the rad dad I am, show off my daughter. I hope you guys have a good New Year's Eve. I hope you guys have a good celebration into New Year's Day. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.